The John McCormick is a 154-foot fast response cutter named after an enlisted hero, Boson John McCormick. This cutter was commissioned in May of 2017. Operating in Alaska is definitely a unique challenge. It's a huge area. Uh, there's over 3 million square miles that the, the Coast Guard is responsible for up here. The nearest town could be 200, 300 miles away. Temperatures can range from 50 degrees to negative 20 degrees. We have storms that come through up to 70, 80 miles an hour wind that we see. The seas that we deal with in the Gulf of Alaska can get up to 22 feet and she rode like a champ. The fast response cutters are a major upgrade. They handle better in the seas and just have a much better overall operating capability. We can do speeds of up to 30 knots, which greatly enhances our response time for search and rescue cases. We can respond to a call and be on scene in a matter of hours rather than days. If we can get on scene as fast as possible, then that greatly increases those chances of survival. Our primary missions here are to uh, conduct search and rescue, so rescuing mariners in distress, towing vessels in distress, uh, that type of thing. Uh, living marine resources, protecting the resources of the state of Alaska, and then just general law enforcement and national security for the entire Alaska area. One of the missions of the John McCormick is to engage with the local communities, both our home port of Ketchikan as well as the others throughout southeast Alaska, which southeast Alaska is, is very unique. There's a lot of small remote towns throughout. We try to interact with all of the local communities, make stops at, at the various villages and towns. We deliver toys this Christmas up to the organized village of Cape. We've gone in and read stories to children. We're trying to show them that we're also part of this community. Coast Guard's been involved with uh, national security and defense missions in Alaska from its very founding. We work with our, our customs agents, local police departments, Alaska State Troopers, and NOAA to try and make sure that our laws are being followed. Alaska is responsible for approximately 50% of the fish produced in the United States. One of our missions is protecting the resources up here with the fishing community and uh, all the environmental resources. Just practicing good stewardship and keeping a level playing field. We've absolutely been crushing it together as a crew. We're out there doing boardings, doing training, um, just doing the mission and having fun. This is a special crew, and it, it makes me really excited to come to work. It makes it, it makes it fun when you're with a group of people like this who are dedicated, very good at their jobs, very professional. The crew is amazing. We're just, we're one big happy family. 